What's up guys, it's your boy Will. It's another episode of Gallery Garage. And what we got going on today is I'm gonna be working on the fuel tank. I'm gonna be doing some TIG aluminum welding. I'm not that good at it, but I'm gonna see if I can get it this time. This is what I wanna work on, the fuel tank. I got a fuel sender and a return bung that I gotta weld into here because this tank was actually an accessory tank, so it didn't have any of that. On the bottom of the tank is where it'll get the fuel. And then this is the return, like I said, and the fuel sender for the, that, that tells you the amount of fuel that you have in the tank. So, these are the two bungs that I gotta weld in. This is a 3 8 This is gonna go into the 3 8 right there. This is the fuel sender bung, or flange, whatever you wanna call it. And then this is the fuel sender itself. So, should be pretty simple. I was practicing my TIG welding. And it doesn't look so bad. I mean, you know. Having, uh, I'm a MIG welder and stick welder. I still have to do a lot of practice on TIG welding. But, you know, I'm getting there. So, stay tuned. Watch what's going to happen. Because I got some tricks that my dad told me what to do for this fuel tank. And it... Hopefully it will come out good. Pollen is annoying. Alright, the steps should come off. So I got the tank out. These two bolts were corroded in here, so it took a little while to heat them slowly and beat them out. And I wound up bending one, so I'm gonna have to make one of these. I might just make two. This one has a slight bend in it. Anyways. So this is the trick that I was talking about. Well, first, got the tank out. I'm gonna roll it over, open up the cap, and try to get as much fuel as I can out of it. It's just got a little bit of old diesel in there. So I'm gonna drain that out. And then the trick is to actually drill the holes upside down. If you drill the holes upside down, then you're not gonna get aluminum shavings in the tank. If, if they do get into the tank, they're right there. They're not gonna drop into the tank and you're gonna worry about it clogging your fuel system. So if you do it upside down, it's very easy cleanup. And then obviously you, you, you weld it upright, so. I want to give it a try. We'll see how it goes. All right, there's the two holes drilled. Perfect for that bung. And perfect for that bung. That's it. So now I just gotta clean. Aluminum has to be super, super clean in order to weld it. I'm gonna give, I'm, I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna give myself a rating. I'm, I'm gonna give myself a five and a half out of 10 after it's done welded. We'll see if I can actually be better than that <laughs> and then also i gotta plug this hole i'm just i think i'm just gonna try to weld it like plug weld it and if that doesn't work then i'm gonna have to cut it out and patch it i could probably just put a patch over this uh we'll see the sender that i got had a different thread type for this so i'm gonna go bring this up to the hardware store and uh and we'll get the right bolts so that way I can bring this with me. I don't have to go up there a few times. I'll go get that and I can weld these in. All right, well the camera battery died. So I just went ahead and I plugged this hole. I ground it down, filled it in with some filler rod. 
and then I welded this bung on. Not bad, I guess, you know, for a rookie. I really am, like, I, I don't I'll TIG, TIG weld aluminum. Uh, so that came out good. So now I'll show you guys what I'm going to do with this bung. All right, so the machine that I'm using is a really helicopter. All right, I got this machine a couple years ago. It's a Miller Multimatic 220 ACDC. The stick tick MIG, it's, uh, it does a little bit of everything. And this is gonna be another video. I'm building a welding cart out of this Harbor Freight toolbox. Uh, that'll be in the next video. And I just got the Argon hooked up to it. But uh, I got the TIG set up. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to weld this bung on. Got an okay tack on that side. I'll put one on this side. Basically, I gotta do that all the way around. It's welded in. It's not like a hundred percent perfect. It doesn't look like a machine did it, but not bad for a rookie. Came up a little too high in a couple spots there. But other than that, I mean it looks pretty good. It should be fine. Just a fuel tank sender. Cool. So I mean that looks pretty good. Now I just gotta let it cool off. I'll try to get the tank back in the truck. And hook everything back up and then now i can start the truck again it's been i don't know probably three months since it's ran so i'm going to fill this up with a little bit of diesel hook it back up and just temporarily get it to run so that way everything you know all the fluids all the fluids stay flowing and uh and the batteries stay charged all right we got all screws started we got a snug Give him a little ooga dooga. That should be it. I'm gonna be taking all this apart anyways because I'm gonna be painting it all. Should be good for that. That's all she wrote. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna get the tank back on the truck, get it uh, temporarily hooked up, and uh, start the motor. She lives. She's running off the fuel tank. I got the lines hooked up. She's been sitting for four months and just started right up. I mean, got the buzzer going off for the air. That's normal. Batteries are charging. She lives. I'm in a hot tub out of a fire truck. I don't 
don't know if anyone's ever done it before, but 